Okay, in this video, I just want to go over the check your understanding assignment, Magic 8-Ball. Okay, we've been learning about if statements and random, and now you get to do a little practice. So this should open up this document here. Basically, the Magic 8-Ball is you, you type in a yes-no question, click the Magic 8-Ball, and it'll give you an, uh, an answer. Okay, and the way that we're going to make this work from the JavaScript side of things is that the most basic functionality is you just get a random response. So when the user clicks the magic eight ball, you can just add an event listener to the image. And then uh, one of these responses should be randomly displayed. Without a doubt, as a see it, yes, concentrate and ask again, don't count on it, outlook not so good. And in each um, outcome here, each response should have an equal probability. Okay, so make sure you choose your numbers to, uh, to be an equal probability. Um, and then, well, let's see how that looks like. So can I do this assignment every time I click on it? Don't count on it, without a doubt. As I see it, yes, don't count on it, right? It just, it randomly selects from one of those um, responses. Now, the next thing that you wanna, you can add to this assignment, that's the basic functionality. The next thing is you can check the question. So if there is an empty question, right? So this is left blank it should always say, please ask a question. So no matter how many times I click it, it's not giving me a random response. It's saying, please ask a question. Um, is it sunny? Don't count on it. Sure. Okay. So once you type the question, then it gives you the random response. When it's blank, please ask a question. The other part of it is you could have some specific questions that will always get a specific response. So for example, if we type in, does a magic eight ball actually work? And it'll always say, how dare you doubt me? All right, so because of this specific question, you test the, the input element, right? And say the value of the input element, you say, hey, when they ask this question, I'm always gonna do this response. If we ask, is JavaScript awesome? It should always say, of course, of course. But if it's any other question, will it rain tomorrow? As I see it, yes. Anyway, this is the, the random response here. Okay, so that's a little assignment for you. Um, like I said, just an event listener, get some, some random, um, use a random number to, to generate a random response, and then some extra checking with your if statements to test the question, um, empty or specific questions. Okay, hope that makes sense, and have fun.